good morning guys well we got rain coming tomorrow we are about to install all of this in the bathroom i've already got the first piece cut we're going to go ahead and get that installed we're going to try to get all of this trim done today in the bathroom to go ahead and complete this bathroom before it rains because i don't feel like uh moving it all around and restacking it and stuff to get it out of the weather i already got the first piece laying there that one's gonna go right there and then we're gonna work our way around and get this thing done let's get after it all right first one down let's pull some measurements i think what we're gonna do is probably go all the way around the top to start with look at all these flies guys i just put this up two days ago the weather is heated up a little bit here on the mountain and the flies have came back with some authority so we're going to go ahead and get the top one all the way around and then we'll start filling in the bottom ones and that way we can get our measurements for all of our corners all right let's get it all right over here on this one i'm going to save the cut piece and go ahead and do this one that's got the slope because it's got to be angled on the two ends. That way we can get our measurements. Start with the top one. Looks like it's going to be about 46 and a quarter. It's going to be about 46 and a half. All right, let me get that cut. I'll be right back. This one's almost the right size without me cutting. See if I can get away with it, if I can hide the gap. I believe that I can. So we're gonna install that one. Forty-six and five eighths. All right, guys, we got all the ones wrapped all the way around the shower there, all the way to from the entryway from the bedroom to the bathroom. Got that little stub, what's happening right there. I went in and pulled the measurement back there. Let me bring you guys up. As you can see, it's going to go down to a point. So I'm taking it to three and a half inches right there, which I've already cut. We're going to slam that piece in and then put this face piece right here in. That'll cover the seam. And then I'll be able to get my measurement as far as the one that I got to kind of do a big, long, extended triangle. Let's go ahead and get this one in. And then we'll lay out that triangle. I wonder if it's an obtuse triangle. Come out. All right. 32 and three quarters. Ooh, I'm excited about this, guys. I've been wanting to get this done for a while. 32 and three quarters, remember that.
Got it. All right, we have officially wrapped all the way around. I've showed this before on another video, but I have this little propane torch. I'll end up going like this. And as you can see, burn the edges to make them match. And that way I don't cause a fire. But I'll do that at the end after we get them all on there. I'll make sure that's full of butane and uh, we'll get it done. Now we're gonna go ahead and start working around the base all the way around. Forty inches. But I actually want to put this one on first because I'm gonna cap it. All right, I didn't realize my camera died, but I went ahead and framed out the door jam. I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna put a piece across here or not, and then cut a piece in that it kinda go like that. I think that'd be too busy right here. I don't know, I might just get a piece and run it right in there. I haven't decided yet, but it turned out pretty good. Now I need to start working on the shower entrance right here. And also this corner right here and kind of tie all of this in starting to run a little bit low on one by fours so I'm gonna start with those and then decide in the other corners if I just want to go one piece or if I want to rip it down the center and join them together looks like 84 and three quarters That didn't turn out too bad. The metal kind of ran right up beside it, so that worked out pretty good. I'll have to touch up some of the paint down here where the plastic is. Uh, but whenever I concrete this floor in here and also in the cabin, I'm gonna paint it the same color. So when I got that out, I'll touch up that little piece. All right, now we're gonna work our way right here in the entrance way going into the bedroom. We've already got this side done. So I'm gonna go ahead and run these up.
All right, we got that corner situated. Looks good. Now I got to decide if I want to put a piece across here. To kind of tie it all in. Well, I think that corner looks good. All right, I didn't even realize that my camera's been outside by the saw. But I got this corner situated. I went ahead and added another one, widened it right there. I thought it gave it a lot better look. And notched it and went all the way up to the top. And then over there on that side, and then I put one across there and one up underneath. I think it looks pretty good from both sides i will be caulking some of the seams and stuff with some black caulking just to kind of clean up the lines a little bit and like i said earlier i will be burning the edges and it should tie it all in it's really starting to get that rustic kind of cabin feel that i'm looking for all right now i'm going to jump in this back corner right here we're going to go ahead and case this window out and catch these little corners right here and then we'll do the corner right there running real real low on wood so hopefully I got enough to pull this off all right I decided to just go with one in the corners instead of wrapping it like that I think it looks fine and it's gonna save me twice as much wood All right guys, I got all the trim up in this corner for now. I went ahead and cased out these windows, put a little bit of a ledge there. I haven't put the piece on that's gonna go here and here to cover it up, or I haven't put this piece on right here yet. I did go ahead and put this one down here because I will be doing some custom shelves that will be coming up right here. A couple right there, a little bit over the toilet and then it will go all the way across and then it'll end up stepping up here and then once it gets there it will go all the way across there so there's no point in putting all of this up yet because i'm gonna have to tie it in with the shelves looks good though guys all right guys the sun is starting to set i'm gonna go ahead and feed the animals and we'll pick back up in the morning all right guys we made it back to the mountain we got to get this truck unloaded. We have got rain coming. I need to go ahead and move these saw horses and get this wood right here out of the weather. I think I'm going to use the back porch area right here. This is where I have my saw set up anyways. I'll set the saw horses up right there and stack all the wood on there. I don't want it to get wet because I still need to burn it and polyurethane it. And it doesn't burn as good whenever it's wet. So let's go ahead and get this done. Whew, it's been a busy day. I look out across the water. I smell the song. In my heart, I hear the call of my old home, Tennessee. Oh, even though where these rivers flow, oh, why the wind chooses when and where to blow, the sun is gonna rise each and every. But I've still got Tennessee Oh, 
Right, guys we got everything burned in polyurethane and drying and getting ready for tomorrow it always amazes me all the different textures and designs and stuff in the wood I got all of the little stuff done two by fours are done on both sides because I'm probably gonna be using that in the shelving and the two uh, one by sixes and the one by eights also are done on both sides that way if it's up higher and you're seeing up underneath and the top it looks good on both sides but we're gonna let that dry today and then we're gonna install it tomorrow i also did something else that i didn't put on camera check this out i went ahead and polyurethaned the cabinets and they look a lot better a lot richer they're still very very wet but it looks good. I'm also going to be painting the edges with chalkboard paint. That way right here I can make list for the kitchen. And right here I can make list for the bathrooms and other odds and ends, cleaning supplies and stuff like that. All right guys, I'll see y'all in the morning whenever it's time to start building the shelves. <music> Good morning guys. Well, we are back at it here in the bathroom and we're about to do the custom shelves right over the toilet here. I think we're gonna start with, we're gonna go ahead and run a vertical piece all the way up this window seal right here. Probably gonna notch it out to where it goes over the edge right here. Run it all the way up 
and then I will probably put another one all the way up this side right here that'll give us somewhere to nail the shelves to that's a good solid point and it all, I already got one here so this one right here will catch the lower shelves going here and also the upper shelves go in here don't really know how I'm gonna go about building all of the shelves yet I'm just gonna kind of piece it together as I go this is 100% custom so let's see how it turns out let's go ahead and get a couple of pieces cut and start putting it in place because I'm a visual builder oh the camera was off but it's up All right, guys, I had to do quite a few different cuts here because whenever I extended this shower out originally, I didn't really think too much about the window casing right there. I was just trying to get as much square footage as I could with the shower, which I'm glad I did, but it's causing a couple more cuts and a little bit trickier doing these shelves right here. By the time I'm done, you won't even know that it happened. But let's see if my cut was right. say no no it wasn't all right guys now that we got most of the boards in place that's actually going to support the shelving still got a one or two that i need to put right here but for this wall right here this is all that i need so what i'm thinking is i don't want to frame this out with two by fours and it'd be very bulky I want to keep this to be like a whole lot lighter of a shelf type look. I really only want to see like the width of this as much as possible. Something like this. With a couple of long ones. I do plan on putting a long one all the way across here. And at the top of the window, a long one all the way across there. And then have a couple of the smaller ones feed into it like that and I'm still deciding if I want to come up this wall with shelves as well so the best way that I have thought of to come up with this and to be able to uh, achieve the look that I'm going for but yet at the same time still have the stability and strength that I need uh, I'm gonna rip a couple of two by fours right in half just to kind of shrink the profile of them just a little bit and then notch them into place and uh which i'll show you all that here in a minute and that way i can get some good nails in and also get the shelf on there and nailed off securely as well and then go ahead and do a couple of the shelves and make sure that it's going to work and if it will then we'll go ahead and rip the rest that we need first thing we got to do is get our blade depth set so i got a little piece of scrap board right here i'm just going to lay up against the blade and start bringing the blade up There we go. Don't want it to be too much higher. Just a little bit. Lock that in place. All right, we're good to go. Next thing we need is our measurement. The two by four is three and a half inches. Halfway. So we put that guide up there. Unlock it. And take it all the way to an inch and three quarters. Now when you measure and you want your three quarters to be on this side of the blade because you got to account for the blade width. we got those ripped I'm gonna go ahead and I believe and start with the two long ones and that will kind of give me the spacing for all of the other shelves so we're gonna start with this bottom one right here we're gonna measure all the way across and then we'll get that cut and then we'll lay it out to be to be able to jigsaw some little notches in it to fit all the way solid back to the wall 
a little bit of measuring but shouldn't be too bad i don't believe it's too many complicated cuts there you have it just like that and then this one right here would go just like this start off over here at the jigsaw station and we're going to come out a half inch right there and we're going to cut a little line so when we do the table saw it'll come right off Set this to a half inch. get sidetracked I'm kind of playing with a little bit of in cap designs and stuff like that but I want to go ahead and get this next one up that way I can get a kind of a true scale because I think I'm gonna put one in the center here but I need to know where that is so I can actually get my heights and then I will start doing all the lower end once I get this side done I'll decide if I want to put some on this wall or if I think it's gonna just be too cluttered As you can see too, I burnt the bottom of these when I burned them. That way, the taller ones like this that you can see up underneath, you can actually see it. I will be painting this right here black. That'll tie it all in. All right, now that we got these two done, liking it. Now I can figure out where the shorter shelves are gonna go and go ahead and get those cut up and put in. Hopefully those go a little bit easier and a little bit less cutting. We'll see. All right, so I'm thinking somewhere like that. Then I might be able to run a board up like this as well. Extending this window seal out. And actually we'll make it a cubby. Let's see what it'll look like. we're going to close this in and then eventually if I want to I can actually put a door right here and be able to put toilet paper and stuff like that in there so let's go ahead and get one cut All right, now that we got this one in there, I need to go ahead and get this edge one in here. I'm going to make it go nice and flush with the edge of this right here. And then that'll allow me to put the other shelf in here as well. And then I can start thinking about the door that I need to build here. I wasn't expecting to do a little cabinet, but it's just the way that the plan is going. But I think it would really add something, honestly. And maybe do two doors. One opens this way, one opens this way. 22, 21 and three quarters. Ah, 
like it a lot. All right, guys, we're making some progress. Pretty much got the top shelves built. My ideal here is kind of do the window kind of like a shadow box, sort of. And I'll be able to put a plant here and actually have a live plant in the bathroom that gets plenty of sunlight and kind of just hangs down. I think it'll look amazing. Get y'all down here where the action's at. Put one right about here. And then we'll put the next one right about here. I'd say we're gonna go somewhere around this range. We're going to add one more of these over here just to add some depth. After thinking about it a little bit more, I decided I'm going to add one more shelf. I've got that one there plenty of room to take the lid off maintenance work on the toilet got plenty of room right there to be able to turn it on and off to remove it if i need to work on it but it gives a whole lot more storage all right guys it's time to build the doors for the enclosure above the toilet i got some one by fours here we're going to rip these directly in half because I don't want the frame profile to be so wide because they're going to be kind of longer, narrower doors. There's going to be two of them. So let's go ahead and get these ripped and then we'll start piecing this thing together. All right, so right before I cut, I decided I was going to go with two different lengths. A little bit thicker one for the back plate and then a little bit thinner one to actually kind of frame out around the metal so this is what i came up with see this one right here is about an inch and a quarter inch and a half bigger than the other one and that should make for a good little frame where it isn't so thick in the front all right let's get some measurements figure out what the frame actually needs to be to hold the metal then we'll build the frame we'll cut the metal put all of that in and then we'll cut the frame piece in the front Alright, let's put these together. Alright, let's go ahead and hold them up there. See what they're going to look like together. What's going on? Getting a little bit of this mud off. Yeah, a little mud. Mike took the tractor's mud and said, hey guys. Yeah, I figured they haven't had any uh, any fun in a while. They've been doing all this work. I wanted to show them a good time. Would you Ooh, like to take a man. picture with a 
picture frame? I'm wet. It don't matter. Just hold it up in your face. And say cheers. Cheers. All right, guys. I knew I heard some noise out here. Figured I'd come see what it is. Huh, let's go cut some metal. All right, guys. Let's see what it looks like inside here. Put this one in here and make sure that it fits. I don't want it to be too tight. And it looks like this one's going to be a little tight, so I'm probably going to take this one apart and just make it a little bit thinner. That way I don't run into no issues. All right, guys. I have taken it as far as I can take it tonight. I'm going to have to get some little hinges in the morning. That'll work. I'm going to get a couple of different kinds because I don't know what's going to actually work. It's kind of a tight fit there. But the sun is starting to set and these guys right here are hungry. So I'll see you all in the morning. All right, guys, it's the next day and I went ahead and put those doors on. I went and got some hinges earlier. I didn't film it. There was no way to really get the camera in there without just staring at my back the whole time. But look how it turned out. Turned out pretty nice, guys. I am definitely happy with it. Got it where you can open it up. Still got to wipe it all down. But it turned out really good. I do have a couple of little shiner nails here that I need to take the grinder or some snips and step off because I only had one size finishing nail. But I'll be snipping that off tonight and it's good to go. Turned out really good. I went in and picked up a plant today. I need to take it out of the pot and plant it. I just got it sitting in here for right now just to see what it'll look like. I think that's gonna grow, grow real good there. Plenty of storage, plenty of shelving. Also went ahead and put the plugs in here, the covers. And went ahead and put the cover there and over there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get the mess cleaned up from all of this construction right here. And then go ahead and decorate it. And I'll bring y'all back and show y'all what it looks like. I think it's going to be a big transformation. I'll be right back. All right, it is time for the big reveal of the bathroom. This bathroom project was absolutely amazing, guys. It turned out phenomenal. Phenomenal. I am extremely, extremely happy with it. We're going to start with the walkway going in between the bathroom and the bedroom area and work our way through the bathroom. Check this out. So right here, we got the cabinets over the washing machine. And as you can see, you got the trim all the way across. You got the sides painted with chalkboard paint. And this area right here turned out really good. Ended up doing a little double framing there and up underneath. cased out the little doorway right there got a little bit of decoration right here this will end up being put up this spring for the birds it's a birdhouse that a subscriber made me but we got loads of fun help wanted laundry room wash dry fold repeat and this is definitely an accurate schedule for me washing clothes, laundry schedule, washing 30 minutes, drying 60 minutes, putting away 7 to 10 business days. <laughs> Turned out real good. I went ahead and accented it with a black rug right here. 
I widened the boards over here on this side right here just to give it a little bit more depth. And then we work our way around to the shower. I added a shower curtain there with some black and gray and a cool little pattern to kind of match the burnt wood to kind of tie it all together. Let me bring you back some. Put two little command hooks up there for my robe and towel. Accented it with another little black rug there at the bottom. And then, of course, the sink area turned out absolutely amazing. Same thing with going into the kitchen there. Framed out all the way around there, cased in the door really nice. Got the trim all the way around the sides. Got the sink decorated with some little uh, lotion or hand washing things, toothbrush holder and stuff like that that a subscriber got me. The subscriber also got me the little towel holder there to match. I am going to end up uh, taking this mirror out and actually framing it in with some burnt wood and uh, relocating it. And then you got the patina metal that we end up carrying all the way through to the custom shelving that we put over here. This right here guys turned out amazing. Look at this. Once again highlighting another thing that a subscriber made me and right there as well. We did end up getting the plant planted and the shadow box turned out amazing guys. Really gives some depth to this. And the cabinet little covers turned out really really good kind of matching the patina as well. I did end up burning all of the corners and getting all of the shiners taken care of burned the edges on the inside right here kind of chopped it up a little bit right here to kind of give it some character turned out awesome guys got the metal on the inside too I couldn't be happier with the way that this custom shelf turned out over the toilet as I said in the beginning of this video when I started on it, I really had no clue exactly what I was going to do there. I just kind of built it out of my head and kind of let it kind of take a life of its own. But I am extremely, extremely happy with the way it turned out. Subscriber also got me the toilet paper holder to match. Got all the light switches and stuff. I do need to do a little bit of mud right here to cover that screw hole. But even the top of the shelves are all burnt. Turned out really nice. I am going to end up changing this light. I don't like this light. It doesn't match. It's a fan as well. You can hear it. But with the toilet area right here, this is actually like you're sitting on the toilet. I got this cool little uh, metal little bin thing here that holds my towels. I also got a black rug that accents that goes along with that. Turned out absolutely gorgeous, guys. Absolutely gorgeous. Well, I hope y'all liked this video, guys. It was a ton of ton of work uh, from start to finish. It is amazing how far that I have came with this bathroom from whenever we first decided to start doing the shower here to it actually being completely done now. Uh, it's been a it's been a whirlwind but it has definitely been worth all of the work it's turned out absolutely amazing guys I, I'm beyond beyond happy with how it all turned out the windows kind of have their own custom look to them custom designed with the little shelves right there for holding stuff right there casing that one in that one turning into a shadow box to be able to hold a plant absolutely love it but I hope y'all enjoyed this video, guys. Uh, I also made some serious changes in the kitchen. There's a hint, plus some more. So that video will be coming out here real soon. Make sure that you like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. 
because the inside of this tiny house is almost complete guys I'm adding two more windows into the bedroom area and also building the barn door here very very soon the kitchen is a hundred percent done now I just need to get the video edited for you guys but I think that's gonna be about it for this one guys so until we see each other again come on hey let's go on another adventure uh -huh.